Hey guys, this is an Unreal Engine 4 tutorial on how to get your physics objects, as it's a cube or a ball, replicating properly across the server. So if I make a cube and I turn on physics and I play, but when I start moving around the cube, at first it'll look like it's moving properly, right? But if you play around with it enough, notice now how the location of the cube here in the server and on the client are completely different. This is because the cube isn't replicating its um, movement. So how do we fix this? Well normally if it's just a cube placed in the world that doesn't run any code, it's just a visual aesthetic thing, you can just type in the search details, replicate, and you have the static mesh replicate movement. You can turn this on and now when you click play it fixes the problem. Now it'll typically be in sync. Right? So the physics on it are now replicated. This is great, but what if we wanted to make a blueprint such as what if we wanted to make this such as something like a projectile or a, a ball or a cube that if you touched it destroyed itself but it still had physics or it could be a yeah. If you wanted to run any code on it you would sort of be out of luck because this is a static mesh actor, right? So your first initial intent, your first try might be something like this, where you would go right click and you would make an actor and call this BP whatever. All right. And the first time you might do something like static, um, like a, let's say a cube. A cube is a static mesh actor and you might make this the root, simulate physics. Great. So this would make the, the cube simulate physics, but you'll notice if we type in replicates, you, you we have component replicates and replicates physics to autonomous proxy, but we don't have replicates, sta uh, replicates static mesh movement. That's what we need for the movement to line up. And you'll notice the static mesh for some reason doesn't have it. So if we place this in the world, and simulated physics, it would eventually desync like that. So how do we do it the right way? What you do is you go to blueprint class and then open up all classes and you type in static mesh actor. Click select. And then what you're going to do is call it whatever you want, like BP physics object. Okay. You'll notice since this derives from the static mesh actor class, which is the same class as the regular cube in the level or any static mesh you place in the level, it is, it has a static mesh actor. And then if you notice, if you go to the physics object or just the base class settings, and you type in replicate, you have static mesh replicate movement. So now you're able to turn that on, give your static mesh a visual like a cube, simulate physics, and now we have the cube. Let's make it a little smaller. And we can move it around. And it's simul and it's being replicated properly across the server. And now that this is in a blueprint, we have access to doing code, such as a hit event, so that when it is hit by anything, it'll say add impulse. Let's add like a something crazy, like 1,500, or I don't know if this will be enough. Let's do velocity change. Now when it gets hit, hopefully it should just like bounce up. Yeah, it, it bounced up into orbit, but it bounced up. So as you can see, now we have access to blueprints and you also have static, static mesh objects. So now you can have fun with scattering blueprint objects around that are simulating physics and can still run their code. Um, that was it for this tutorial. Hope you found it helpful. Um, if you want any more tutorials, just leave a comment below and I'll happily make any.
See ya.